Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 29th of 2020, well, it is titled Mercury Meets Crescent Venus. So what do we see here? Well, an image of the sky and the trees here in the foreground, and through a gap in the trees, we see two objects. One looks like a small crescent moon, but is actually the planet Venus. So Venus off there to the right-hand side of the gap is the uh, planet, a planet closest to the Earth that is actually approaching its closest right now over the coming, uh, coming days. And in fact, on June the 3rd, it will reach inferior conjunction. Now, inferior conjunction occurs when a planet that orbits closer to the sun than the Earth passes in between the Earth and the sun. So, Venus is very quickly becoming invisible. Uh, you will not be able to see it now for a few days, and then uh, shortly after June 3rd, you'll begin to see it in the morning sky right before sunrise, looking off to the east. So Venus uh, appears very bright and appears either as the morning or the evening star, always relatively close to the sun. Now, it's close to, it always appears close to the sun because its orbit is smaller than the Earth, and it never matter where we are, it's always in that same general direction. And an even more extreme case of that would be the planet Mercury shown off to the left here. Mercury is probably the hardest of the naked eye planets to be able to find. And that is because, not because it's unbright, but because it is very close to the sun. So it's only seen very uh, close to the sun right uh, after sunset or right before sunrise, but to an even more extreme extent than Venus. And that means you're still looking in the haze of dawn or dusk to be able to pick out a planet, which is also much fainter than Venus as well. So easily visible, but also harder to track because it is much closer to the sun. Now, Mercury and Venus will both go through phases. You can see Venus as a crescent here, and the phases of Venus are one of the things that Galileo found back in the 1600s when he first looked at the objects with the telescope and found that Venus went through a complete cycle of phases, and that was one thing, one piece of evidence that showed that Venus had to orbit the sun. And at the time, all objects were thought to orbit the Earth, but there is no way in an Earth with, with objects if Venus orbited the Earth, that it could go through a complete set of phases. Now, Mercury would go through the phases as well. You can't see that here, uh, but Venus would, uh, Mercury would also go through the uh, a set of phases. If you were to look at it through a telescope, you could see that it would go through quarter, crescent, and full phases. Again, they're a little harder to see simply because Venus, Mercury is only visible very low in the sky at certain times. So here we get a chance to see two, the two inner planets together uh, in the evening sky taken uh, just about a week ago. So that was our picture of the day for May the 29th of 2020. It was titled Mercury uh, Meets Crescent Venus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.